So right here it says, a good Samaritan saves a baby in a stroller from rolling into traffic. Check this out. Oh, my God. She, she fell. fell. Yeah, she fell. Oh, my gosh. 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 Oh, my Oh man, thank God. I'm I'm gonna grill her shit. But before I grill her shit, thank God that that man was there. Because this woman probably saw her whole life flash before her eyes, seeing her baby go right into a main street. And them cars were whizzing by, bro. They was not going slow. They were, ping, ping, okay? They was going. Thank God for that, man. And and I think anyone would do the same thing if they were in that situation. I think anyone, when it comes down to a child, you got to spring into action. You got to do something, man. Because I don't think anyone would have just stood there and watched the baby just stroll into the street. I think that's where, you know, if you see, um, something going on with an older person like like adults you you kind of look the other way sometimes right i've done it myself where i've seen um like i've seen some people like getting into it or whatnot and dude was doing something that it was easily preventable and i saw it it's like something as simple as him about to walk into a pole you just look the other way you, hey it ain't my business right i think when it comes down to a child though everybody need, feels the need to spring into action everyone 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 um, nah, man, I would have done the same thing in this situation. Um, I think that was a great move. Now I'm gonna go ahead and play this one more time and let's not focus on the baby on this one. Let's more so focus on this fucking woman because I'm about to grill her fucking existence right now. She fell. Yeah, she fell. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, and they can't get out because they've heard like the means of that. Oh, man. Life saving right there, man. Jeez. Yeah, like they say, perfect timing. Yeah. At the right place at the right time. Yeah. Jeez. Wow. See that? Look, man, I don't want to be messed up or nothing, but uh. I got to see what the comments got to say before I grill. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Stay fit, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So look. Look at this. Fell on a flat surface. Tried to get up and fell again. Tries to get up and realizes, yeah, there's nothing I could do. And then she finally looks up and sees somebody else did the job for her. She was perfectly... Like, well, I don't think she was perfectly okay with right it, time. but she was just, like, giving up, and the fact that her baby was rolling into the street, like, bro, this is why people need to, and look, I'm not the most healthiest person in the world, bro, I'm not, I will be the first person to say it, but I had a moment where I started to realize, yo, I need to get in shape. I need to get back in shape. I need to get at least active because there was a time last year where I started getting sick a lot and it was getting worse and worse every single time. And my co-host gave me a call one day and he said, look, man, you're 22. You're what? No, you're 23. This is before my birthday. Like you're 23 years old, bro. You're getting sick like crazy. What's going to happen when you're 30? What's going to happen when you're 35? If you continue eating and not exercising and just living life the way you're living, you're going to be 35, 40 years old and super sick all the time and everything's going to hurt. That moment right there, that conversation that my that I had with my co-host Brian is what kind of woke me up and, and made me spring into action. Now, don't get me wrong. I was stagnant along the way, but I feel like recently I we both, me and him, kind of tried to, you know, start getting our health right. Because at the end of the day, health is wealth. I know it sounds corny. I know it sounds cringy. I know it's cliche, but it is. Because <laughs> imagine having a child 
and something happens to that child right in front of you and there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it. And that's what happened here, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what happened here. And I don't I, look the baby's OK. This man sprung into action and saved the baby's life. But now we got to talk about the real problem at hand, which are two. One, you should have secured the stroller. I know those strollers got little locks on them. You didn't do that. That's one. Two. You are so out of fucking shape, bro. You should have been able to get up, run over there and grab that. Get up, run over there and grab that. Like, there's no reason. Bro, who the fuck falls on a flat surface and then can't get up? Your baby's about to go into an open road. I need a a sip of my coffee. Hang on. Look, man. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. And look, if this were me, this would be the moment that turns me around. My whole lifestyle. Look at how far... She is from the child. Who the fuck leaves their child that far away from them with a stroller with the wheels unlocked? Not only that, this would have been the moment I would have felt truly, truly, truly pathetic and helpless, like worthless because, bro, I can't save my child. Yet I'm the parent, but I can't save my child. And I'm playing one more time so you guys can see how this woman busted her ass it's honestly embarrassing. Oh, she's Boom. Bounce. Yeah, she bounced. Oh my gosh. Boom. Again. How the hell? We don't know. Yeah, they can't get up because they heard like the meat so bad. Trying to get up, looking at the baby. Then she looks down because she don't want to see what's about to happen. You are the man. Yeah. Life saving. Then. Looks up, Jeez. sees the other guy there. Yeah, like they say, perfect time. Yeah. At the right place at the right time. Yeah. Yo, this is a different type of, 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 of unhealthy. This is a different type of thing. Like, yo, if you can't even get up, bro. If you can't spring into action and save your, you know, little one, bro. Come on, man. What the fuck, man? She needs to get her fat ass up, though. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm saying how it is. She needs to get her fat ass up and hit the treadmill or something. Like I said, I ain't the most healthiest person in the world, but sure as hell, you ain't going to see me like that. Sure as hell, you ain't going to see me going down like that. Fuck out of here. That's crazy. Let's keep pushing, though. Let's keep going. This was... Ah, uh, this this honestly like pisses me off. I already know my co-host would have grilled her shit, bro. Would have grilled her shit. You know, matter of fact, I'm gonna send it to him right now. <laughs> 